because it's fully audio. I can. I'm Billy Burke. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to be cool. These are prescriptions. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look cool anyway. Oh, thank you. So, what was the lure of revolution for you? The lure? Look. The script comes at you. It's got J.J. Abrams written across the top, written by Eric Kripke. Oh, and by the way, it's going to be directed by John Favreau. I don't need to read it. <laughs> That's kind of how it came about. Did anyone know his character you to play? Well, I went in to meet uh, Eric and John, actually, and they sort of, uh, they pitched me on, on what the show was. Um, and again, I was like, guys, I, I don't need to hear it. I'm in. Let's just do this. <laughs> Can you talk about your character, who he is, what kind of people are um, His name is Miles Matheson. He's an ex-military guy. Uh, before the power went out, he was uh, in the army with his, with his buddy. Um, his uh, brother is a, uh, an algebra teacher at, at uh, a college and uh, has some information about what's about to go down. We have no idea what that is. Cut to 15 years later, Miles has uh, he's been in hiding. He started a bar in Chicago making his own booze and just trying to get out of everything because he will find out that uh, he's been in the fight for a long time and had to make an escape. And his niece comes to visit him, and, and unfortunately brings him back in, and he wants no part of it. So I, uh, I spend a lot of time being reluctant. Um, and it's, I mean, it's so well written by Eric. I just have to, I, I can kind of let, uh, I can let, let his words do the work for me. Right. Would you, could you imagine life, though, like this as a person without power, without all these societal uh, pleasures, I guess? Yeah, we try to do it on the, it's, it's, I mean, it's a constant uh, topic of conversation on the set. I mean, we'll start shooting something and we'll start talking about the what ifs. Um, and, yeah, I don't, look, I try not to rely on technology as much as I actually do. I, I used to use a computer to play online poker. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you take away you take away a smartphone now, and you're you're just a, you're lost in the woods. Yeah. I can even imagine it now. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. We certainly wouldn't be doing this, would we? That's right. <laughs> We'd be all writing down a paper. Yeah. What kind of training did you do for this show? Uh, well, I'm still doing it as we go. But, um, but we have a, an excellent special coordinator and choreographer, a short choreographer named Jeff Wolf. He did the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Um, and he's our guy. And so he's, he's my... He's my everything for that kind of stuff. Um, but we've been doing a lot of sword work, and I've actually, he's got me actually in the gym. I have never been to the gym in my life. I'm not kidding. But uh, but we're going to need it because the, it's it's quite physically demanding to you know, doing that stuff, but it's two times a fun. Kind of going off of that, your character also has some special skills that we discover in the first episode. Yeah, he does. He's handy with those. Uh, Knives and swords. Yeah. Um, and luckily, I'm kind of a guy who I'll pick up stuff and fiddle with it and flip it around and stuff like that. So, I mean, some of that stuff came naturally to me. Um, and, you know, some of it got, got a little too cute and too fancy, actually. <laughs> but, uh, um, but, but I have a good time with that stuff. And I'm a, I'm a guy who. Uh, you put any stunts in front of me. Yeah. I, I, would, I, know, I would rather not use the stunt plan. Yeah. Yeah. I like to get out there and jump around and play. Uh, That's why I got into this business. How fast is this series? Have you guys actually shot the pilot? We, stu we start shooting the rest of the series on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> we just I just read the next script uh, yesterday, day before yesterday. Tell us all about it. I can't. <laughs> um, but it's you know it's gonna keep it's gonna keep climbing the ladder. It really does. I mean, these guys, this trio, really they know how to hit home runs, and, uh, and it makes us all you know, excited to do it. It's, 
What do you think this is a show that people are going to tune into, that people will relate to? What is it about evolution that they'll find in it? I think people love the what ifs. I think people love um, not only uh, questioning you know themselves and you know, having a come up for discussion, but they but um, as an entertainment piece, you take this concept um, and like like we were just talking about, what if what if you didn't have this? What if what if you didn't have this? Um, but beyond that, it's really a show about okay, what if that? Then, then how do we get along with each other? How do we find each other? How do we actually communicate? How do we? Uh, how does it affect everything that we do? Our, our families, our you know, our outlook in the future. Um, and that's where that's where the glimmer of hope comes in in every in, in every episode. Hopefully, there will be that sort of that thing to reach for. You just got. You just said you just read the second episode. How far in advance would you like to know about where the series going as an actor, or would you rather yeah. just take it on as a yeah. guy? I don't want to. I actually I enjoy being a fan along with the with the rest of the viewers, um, and I don't need to. You know, I I don't I don't want it to be informed about stuff like that. If, if my character doesn't know it, then I don't want that. Is the answer. So are you going to film in Chicago? That's my hometown. We are shooting in Wilmington, North Carolina, but we'll make parts look like Chicago. <laughs> no, you guys never do. Not just Chicago. But what would you say is the one emotion he's kind of clinging to once he discovers that his family needs him? What is he going to like latch onto? Is this my responsibility? Or is he well, that's the thing. He'd just rather not. And the last thing that he wants is, is any kind of responsibility, especially emotional family responsibility. This is a guy who wants to check out. Um, and like a lot of characters uh, of this ilk, there's just a chocolate center in there somewhere that, that somebody's going to find at some point, and you know his niece does. So, uh, but he wants nothing to 